Okay guys, I'm back. Um, my phone just froze there for a second, had to reset it. That definitely does not normally happen. But let's go back to the browser. So if I go to the top here, these are all the sites that I've saved as uh, favorites. So let's go over to YouTube. And let me prove to you guys that you can indeed watch YouTube videos on your Kin 2M. So we'll just let the page load up here. Um, it's definitely not nearly as fast as a smartphone browser, but for a feature phone that they're now selling this as, um, it's definitely a very, very good browser. Um, but like I said, it's definitely not one of the fastest. But we'll go to this Halloween light show here, and I'll play that one for you guys just so you can see. So you just simply hit the watch video button and it'll load up so we'll just give it a couple couple seconds here to load up and once it loads up um, you'll have zoom light controls you know you tap the screen and you can increase volume rewind fast forward etc so let's turn it up just so you can see it is playing and then to get out of it you just simply hit the back button and it'll take it back to your browser and then so say I wanted to you know, make this a favorite even though I already have it. You just tap the star button here, then you can add to favorite or you can pin to apps. Now what pin to apps does, I'll show you, is I've hit pin to apps. So now I just go to my app. Oh, guess I didn't actually hit it. Hold on. Let's go back here. Hit star. Hit pin to apps. There we go. Now I go back to my quote unquote apps page and at the bottom will be a link right to YouTube. So if I just tap that and it'll open up the page right away. There we go. Now then, let's go back to the Zune player that I was about to go to before my phone decided to freeze up on me. Um, like I said, it's basically like the Zune. You have music, etc. You know, you can turn it down. And from here, if you were to tap the artist, you can get the albums you have, the songs you have on your device, and then if I had a Zune pass, it would also give me, you know, similar artists, etc. But you can get the pictures in the bio etc. And videos, you can also put uh, radio, yes, but you have to plug in your headphones as it tells you, so just we'll tap OK. So videos, if you go there, you can also put music videos up. And then you just hit the play button, and once again, it'll load up, and there you go. Tap the screen to get your volume controls and everything. So we'll just exit out of that. And we'll just hold down to go to the home screen. Next is email. Um, check uh, your email. Like I said, I have uh, data blocks, so I have to force sync these. So I just go there. I sit more, and then I hit the sync button. Then it says connecting, checking for email, downloading any new email I have. There it is. And then if I tap it, it'll open up the email. Now you'll get this a lot. Like I said this is not the best email client but it definitely does its job so but you'll get the can't display this message try viewing it in your browser quite often but that's email it does its job for the most part for sending and everything uh, search you can either tap the search button here to open up the search app or you can just start searching your phone right here so say I wanted to search for contacts I just start typing and then it'll automatically search your phone for those apps or for those contacts. Now that I have the keyboard open, you have a uh, phone button here, which if I tap it, it'll automatically, it's a shortcut right to the phone app. And then there's also a search button here, which will, I mean, you guessed it, open up the search app. And then this green button is just a function key to get all these numbers and symbols. And for the other symbols, it's under the emoticon, so if you hit the smiley face button, it gives you pre-made emoticons, as well as, if you go over, the rest of the symbols that are not on your phone. And that's the keyboard. It's definitely a very nice keyboard. Um, that's the video right there. That's my entire look at the Kin 2M. Overall, I give it uh, four and a half stars. It's definitely a great phone, now that it's considered a feature phone and not a smartphone like it was originally. Um, 
I don't believe they sell these in the Verizon stores anymore or even online, but they are still selling the Kin 1Ms. So I definitely recommend you go out and get one of those if you're looking for a new feature phone that sort of kind of acts like a smartphone. So um, let me think if there's anything else. Oh, yes. When you're in the camera um, and say you tap on a photo here, it's just a photo I took, uh, you can hit share and then you can either text or MMS message it or email it to a contact or if you hit the more button you can favorite it and then it'll show up in that favorites page I showed you you can set it as your wallpaper contact photo or delete it uh, I think that's about all I missed let me quickly go through everything and make sure I I've at least briefly covered everything um, yep so uh, rate my video like dislike it uh, comment on it tell me what you like didn't like what I should fix for future reviews, um, and check back for more reviews. All right, guys, see you.